things on the internet for the next show that is going to be starting on the 4th. Also, I have my uh, tube with me so I can paint, uh, finish the painting on the tube. When I was a little girl, a <laughs> long time ago, I loved so much to draw. My mom and dad found a Russian teacher. We used to live in Romania then. They paid her to tutor me to draw and she taught me to draw so beautiful in pencil and then also she taught me how to use watercolors, the secrets. So that was my beginning. <laughs> I'm so inspired always about ideas, about people, about unhappiness, about behavior of people, about politics. Similarities in communism and in imperialism, there are still similarities and there are things that are unfair in life. And then I kind of chew on them for a while and then I come with another series of paintings. advice for the people that are future artists or artists right now to keep painting everything that they have in mind not looking at others and try to copy or being um, put down by other painters they should just go ahead and draw and paint whatever they have in their soul and keep them everything keep every drawing keep every sketch everything because one day if you are really determined you're gonna have either your gallery or you're gonna have them showed to other people why am i happy because everything that i had inside of my heart I have it outside also. I tell you, for me, this is the best counseling. I mean, years and years of counseling that people pay so much money for. To me, it was the easiest way to paint. And I, 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 I was happy. I was at ease. I could smile. I was, I was changed because of this. And there were years in America that I did not pay because I had to survive to raise my children, to have a regular job, bring money home. But it always is a time to survive, to raise your children. It's a time for you to bring your dreams into reality. And that was my time.